So this is the story of this little chicken. Um, I got her for myself for my birthday, April of 2017. And she was about six weeks old, maybe eight weeks. The pet store wasn't really sure. But um, anyway, I trained her pretty fast to be free roam in my house. So she'd only go in her cage when I'd leave for work. Um, and then fast forward to November, I had a plumber at my house. And I told him that I have a bird that's free range. So make sure you keep the front door shut or screen door shut. He was really good about it. I did try putting her in her cage while he was there and she freaked out because she wasn't sure why she was in her cage. I'm talking about you. Why she was in her cage and I was home. So she started squawking and screaming. I live in a pretty quiet uh, complex so I can't have her screaming everywhere. And so I let her out, told the plumber, keep the door shut. And he did really good until he was leaving. He opened the door and dropped a wrench out of his toolbox. And it crashed into the metal door frame. And she freaked out and bolted right out the front door. So normally when that front door's, that screen door is closed, she flies up to that to check out the birds outside. So she's familiar of what that door and where that door leads. So as she got spooked, she flew around my house and right out the front door she went. I immediately ran outside, followed her or her sound. Couldn't find her, couldn't catch her. Um, kept checking and checking for the next weeks and weeks. I would hear her around my house and every time I heard her I'd run outside, try to look for her, binoculars, everything. Couldn't see her until, um, so I ended up actually putting flyers up everywhere and uh, I've used Paw Boost, and they did a really great job of blasting that email that I have a lost bird for everyone in my neighborhood and anyway. <laughs> And so fast forward to a couple months later, I get a text from a lady saying, hey, I think your bird is at my house on my balcony. Sends me a picture. I said, oh my God, that's my bird. So I go over with my little travel cage for her, run over to her house. I was on my way to work, told work I was going to be late. Someone found my bird. So... I ran over there and I heard her squawking. I was talking to, Ch her name's Chicken. I was talking to her through the screen door and she's squawking back at me and I go to open the screen door and the metal scratches along the bottom, screeches, freaks her out, she bolts again. So, that was the last time I'd seen her. That was about December probably and that was December of 2017 and I've gotten a handful of phone calls and texts since then of people possibly thinking they found my bird I'd go see them or I'd answer the text or look at the picture I'm like no that's not her um, which is super discouraging so after a year of her cage being outside and me constantly whipping my head every time I thought I heard her. I just hoped and prayed that she found a family or a family found her and was lucky enough to have her. She's the sweetest girl. You're the cutest girl. And, um, you know, that I just had to come to peace with that. So fast forward to Thursday, August 23rd. I believe I get a text from another random phone number um, saying or oh, August 22nd sorry saying that hey I think you're looking for your bird I think I saw her last night here's a picture or tonight sorry um, and it looked like my bird he was she was on this guy's finger 
and he sent me multiple videos and pictures. Him and his wife were sitting on the beach visiting in Maui. And uh, we live right across the street from a bunch of rental condos on the ocean. So the place that this couple was staying was literally right across the street from my apartment. Um, walking distance. It would take me two and a half minutes to walk to their condo. After 21 months of being lost, she's two and a half minutes away from me. Um, so I asked the guy if he had her. He said he tried to take her to the front office um, and she flew away on his way to the front office, which was kind of a bummer. But you know, she's been flying around for 21 months. Anyway, so, you know, it gave me hope. So I took Birdseed to where he saw her for the next couple mornings and kind of just sat around and looked for her, listened through Birdseed. And that was my plan to do that for the next however many days it took to get them used to me feeding them. And hopefully she'd come down eventually. And, um,. I was kind of torn because I wasn't sure if I was going to catch her and bring her home since she had been free for almost two years. Um, so I was torn of what I was going to do. Um, anyway, fast forward to Saturday, two days later, I get a text at around 3.30 p.m. Um, hey, uh, I got a message saying you're looking for your bird, your birds at our condo. I shot up, I was taking a nap, I shot up and was like, oh my god. I talked to my boyfriend and said, someone has my bird. He goes, what? He said, yeah, someone has my bird and I'm going to go get her. <laughs> and he's like, okay, go get her. So we go, or I go and pack up her carrier cage and put some bird seed in it, a little blanket, and I drive now she's a mile down the road from Thursday evening to Saturday afternoon. She went about, I would say, nine condos down, but about a mile down the road. Um, so this little girl got some air. It was windy those last couple days too, so I'm guessing she kind of got some air travel. I get to this condo and... The lady that's been texting me is the neighbor of the couple that found her that she flew down onto their patio that morning because they were eating outside and they she helped herself I guess to their food and decided it was happy hour for her too and she they said she flew away for a little bit and then came back and they fell in love with her, so they decided to bring her inside. They actually were trying to figure out how to get her back to California. They ordered her a cage and bird seed <laughs> to keep her safe while they were here on Maui until Saturday. And uh, I walk into their house, their condo, and I see her sitting on the counter eating oats and the wife that found her uh, made her a little bird bath and oats and a little bowl of water and they were all sitting there having happy hour together on a Saturday afternoon um, Pretty amazing and I just started bawling. That was my bird. That was my little chicken for sure and um, I mean the rest is history. She's I Talked with them for a little while and thanked them profusely we took pictures and all that and um, they said goodbye to her and they come to Maui every year so they want to see her every year they come back I said absolutely um, so chicken is home uh, chicken has a pot belly pig brother and two pet rats or I have two pet rats they are both freaked out of each other but she loves the pig they she preens him and grooms him and he just lays there in all his glory and will let her she cleans his teeth she picks at everything on his body and cleans his hairs and 
Um, she'll go to sleep on him. Uh, but after 21 months, I got this crazy little girl back. Hi. You want to come say hi? This little is chicken. Hi. Hey, hi, everybody. Mm, what are you doing, girl? So that's our story. 21 months later, never give up hope. Could you mind get your chicken back? What you think?